is Philip Graslett and I'm the lead cancer nurse at Hampshire Hospitals and that covers all of our sites in Basingstoke, Andover and Winchester and at the moment our private hospitals at Hampshire Clinic in Basingstoke and Sarum Road in Winchester. We've faced some challenging times haven't we uh, and the NHS and our GPs we are all open and ready for business and we're looking forward to seeing you. And what we hope is if you have seen your GP and you need to come to one of our hospitals for an appointment, for an investigation, or even for an operation, that the information that you see in this video is gonna reassure you that we are ready and it is safe for you to do so. Cancer is a serious problem, but also a condition for which there are many and numerous treatments. So attend your appointments, attend for your follow-ups, attend for your investigations, and we look forward to seeing you. You're now going to see some videos, meet some of our staff from the North Hampshire Hospital in Basingstoke. Hello, my name's Angie. I've worked for the Trust for 30 years now on the ward. I'm currently redeployed into the car park. The car park is a pay as you exit. We have two main um, car park machines in the main building on A floor. We also have a card payment in the car park and we have one Sherbourne building. Our machines are wiped down every hour and we have gloves available at the machines if you'd like to wear those. My colleague Martin and I will be on hand to answer any questions that you may have. Um, you can speak to us at a safe distance and we also have masks that we can wear um, should you need to speak to us. My name is Bridget Mancho, I'm the Senior Assistant Men Outpatient based in the Hospital. On arrival to the department, you will be greeted by the outpatient team, who will be sitting behind the screens ready to check you in for your appointment. Hand sanitizer will be available for you throughout your journey in outpatient. One of the nursing team will run through a number of questions with you prior to your appointment, and when the team are ready to see you, you will be called into the consulting room. During peak periods, where the volume of patients increase, you may be given a pager device at check-in so that you can wait outside of the department and be called back when the team are ready to see you. Unfortunately, at this time, we are asking that you come to this appointment alone to reduce the risk to staff and other patients. Thank you for supporting us in this. The nursing team are here to support you, so please do not hesitate to talk to them about anything you may need. Hi, my name is Terry Watkins. I'm the consultant sonographer for Hampshire Hospitals. And as you'll see, we're standing outside the MRI unit at Basingstoke Hospital. So if you're coming for an MRI at Basingstoke Hospital, this would be your entrance. However, if you're coming for any other diagnostic test, which may include ultrasound, x-ray, CT, nuclear medicine, you would still go through the main entrance and follow the directions where the staff will direct you accordingly. When you come in for your relevant diagnostic test, you will find that our staff will be wearing PPE, such as masks, and you will be offered masks and hand sanitizer. We understand that this is a difficult time for a lot of people, and there may be a lot of anxieties around coming to the hospital, but if you do have an appointment, please make sure you do your best to attend. I'm the endoscopic sister for basic stock site. I would like to give you a brief uh, description of what to expect if you have been referred for an endoscopy procedure. All patients having endoscopy procedures are um, asked for self-isolation for 14 days and a COVID swab will be done 14 days before your procedure. And on the day of your appointment, you would be asked to come straight to the DTC reception not through the hospital main entrance. On your arrival to the DPC entrance, you would have the face mask and the hand gel available for you to use before you get into the uh, building. So we are in the reception area for the DPC. So on your arrival, you will be reporting to the uh, receptionist who will be wearing a mask and also she will be dealing with you behind the desk. After reporting to the reception, you will be asked to have a seat in the reception area in the allocated seats and one of the nurses from endoscopy team will be coming to uh, call you and do the assessment with you. 
due to the additional safety precautions and cleaning regime, we are limiting the number of procedures being carried out. This allows us to ensure that you are kept at a safe distance from other patients throughout your procedure. Hello, my name is Laura Parker. I'm one of the Deputy Sisters on the Diagnosis and Treatment Centre Ward, also known as the DTC. I'm going to take you through and show you around. Welcome to the DTC Ward. As you can see, we've got several side rooms, six in total. All have ensuite bathrooms for your individual use. We can't guarantee a side room for everyone, but we do have two bays with three beds in each. While you are a patient here, we will be wearing protective, personal protective equipment. That will be a minimum of a face mask. You might also find that the team, including doctors, nurses and physios, will be wearing aprons and gloves to protect ourselves and to protect you during this time. I'm one of the domestic service leads and this is Shanti, one of our lovely domestic ladies. We're part of a large organisation within the hospital. Our teams work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, keeping the hospital clean and welcoming for our incoming patients. Hello, my name's Satina and I'm a member of the pre-assessment team here at Basingstoke. So we're here to make sure that you are well enough to have your procedure or investigation that your surgeon or doctor has requested you to have. We're in a building called the FERS. It's a secure building and we'll buzz you in when you're ready to arrive. On entering, you will be asked to wear a mask and clean your hands with the hand gel. This is so we're still in line with our infection prevention guidelines. As part of your full assessment, you will need to undergo some tests. And these include basic things like your height and weight and blood pressure. But you may also be asked to have an ECG, which is a tracing of your heart, as well as a blood test. The nurse will talk you through all of these investigations whilst you're here. Everyone that comes for a procedure at our hospitals needs to be COVID negative. This means you will be contacted by a member of the team and asked to have a swab 48 hours prior to your admission. Hello everyone, I'm Holly. I'm one of the radiographers here in the radiotherapy unit. Just want to welcome you to the reception area. When you arrive, you'll be greeted by our radiotherapy assistants. They've sat here. It's our temporary setup at the moment because we're having some work to go to our main reception. There behind the screen, they'll be in a mask. You've already been given a mask and then um, the hand gel on the way in. But this is where you will be seating and waiting for your appointment. For your treatment or for your planning, you'll come through and get yourself changed. We've got changing rooms that are all individual. You'll then go through to the CT, all to the nap for your treatment. You'll be treated by the staff that will look after you and make sure that your treatment goes well and answer any questions that you've got and we'll be seeing you probably more than once at these appointments when you come. Prior to coming to the seat for the first appointment, we'll give you a call at home. Just make sure that you're well, make sure that your is well and explain everything that you need to know. And obviously we'll see you every day when you come in and answer all the questions that you've got at that time. Hello, my name is Marion Woodhouse. I'm one of the chemotherapy nurse specialists here at Hampshire Hospitals. As part of your cancer journey, you may need to have some chemotherapy or other treatments. And thanks to our colleagues here at the MI Sarah Road, we've been able to continue delivering those treatments at a safe site away from our main hospital. When you arrive at the MI Sarah Road Hospital, we've got allocated patient parking, which is free of charge. On arrival, you'll be greeted by a member of our team. You will be wearing personal protective equipment. You will arrive at the tent outside the main building and here you will have your observations taken and you will be asked a few screening questions. Once inside the building, like all of our members of staff, you will be asked to wear a mask and given a mask to wear. All of our waiting areas and our treatment areas have been set up to support social distancing. We have one small treatment area and one larger room. The room is called the Rainbow Unit and this is a merger of the Basing Unit from Basingstoke and Nick Jonas from Winchester who have come together to work on one site. 
during this time. The Acute Oncology Service is also working from Sarum Road. If you are unwell following your treatment or are experiencing symptoms that cause you concern, you will call our designated helpline. If you need to be assessed, the Acute Oncology team will be able to see you at Sarum Road or on a main site if you are required to attend the emergency department. The expert teams here at Hampshire Hospitals are here to support you through every step of your journey. We hope that you have found this information useful, but most importantly, reassuring. I want to encourage you that if you have an appointment, to come along, to come for that appointment, confident that our service will keep you safe. If you have concerns, and you may well do, please talk to us. Call us on one of the numbers which will be on your information letters, speak to your specialist nurse or a member of the medical team, or phone your GP. But don't just not turn up because you're worried. Come and talk to us first, and we look forward to seeing you and welcoming you here at HHFT.